Hi, my name is April Jennifer Choi, and this is going to be a quick video on the different types of whips. The first type of whip we're going to cover is probably the most common, it's known as the American Bull Whip. What makes a bull whip is the fact that the handle is actually plaited into the thong, so that this part is completely straight. It's usually about 12 inches, sometimes they're a little shorter, anywhere between like 10 and 14 inches is considered an American Bull Whip. And then bull whips are measured from the heel, but not right here, all the way to the fall. So this right here would be a six foot rue hide bull whip. This one is actually made by Blake Bruning of Trinity Whips. And then this one's usually made for targeting and things like that, and also wrapping, because then you'll have this spine right here that gets to stay inside your loop as it goes down. So the next type of whip is an Australian bull whip. The main difference between an Australian bull whip and an American bull whip is the handle length. You'll see American bull whips tend to be between like 8 and 14 inches, while the Australian handle from here to here tends to be somewhere around the 16 to 22, sometimes even 24 inch range. So this one's here is a Ruhi whip from Midwest Stage Props, and this one is a Dacron whip that I made. The, the main benefit of an Australian bull whip is with the length of the handle, it allows you to be a little bit more accurate so that you can range a little bit farther and also is usually a little bit longer and therefore is used for wrapping tricks a little bit more. One more thing to note between the American Bull Whip and the Australian Bull Whip is the American Bull Whip tends to be a steel handle and then be shot weighted through the entire thing to make sure it has a lot more weight and power while the Australian style Bull Whip tends to be a fiberglass or sometimes a cane uh, for its handle and then they just have layers of bolstering without any shot weighting to make them a little bit lighter. So up next is the Australian stock whip. The thing that uh, defines the Australian stock whip is it has this keeper knot right here. For the Australian stock whip, this keeper knot allows there to be a little bit more bend so it starts to loop off a little bit quicker. So you'll notice with the bull whip, with the handles held horizontally, this one loop is already starts a little bit tighter. That allows a little bit more flexibility up here. That allows a little bit more speed. So you'll see this more for combination cracking rather than single targeted cracks. Another thing that's also a difference is you'll notice that same with the Australian bull whip, the Australian stock whip tends to have very long handles. This is an Australian stock whip by Casey Tyler. Australian stock whips are actually measured just from the keeper to the fall. So this is a six foot stock whip. This I believe is a 12 by 12, which means it's a 12 plat handle and a 12 plat thong. And that's the Australian stock whip. The next type of whip we're covering is the Florida cow whip. So the difference between the Florida cow whip and the bull whip is they'll have a handle that actually has a cup and that allows this handle to pivot. So something very, very unique to a cow whip is how allowing this handle to pivot. But it also has a cup that is deep enough that allows the thong to come out straight so there's not a very sharp line as it comes out. And that's a Florida cow whip. This one's mainly used for basically very loud sound, um, allowing you to crack and not care about your plane so much, so you're just throwing as much power as you can get into it. Up next are performance hybrids. Performance hybrids are whips invented by Lauren Wickline of Miss Web Whips, also known as the Whip Trick. These ones right here are actually made by Dakota Rinrich of Dakitty Whips. So they're a hybrid of a stock whip because they have the stock whip length, but they have this mechanism right here very similar to the Florida Cow Whip. That gives you a much, much longer handle. They're also usually made out of PVC, carbon fiber, or plastic, making the handle super light. The thongs are almost never weighted, which allows them to maneuver very, very quickly. So they feel like a stock whip, but this mechanism allows it to hinge and twist back and forth for the maneuverability of a cow whip. So performance hybrids, once again, are measured by the plaited section. So since this one sometimes isn't plaited, they're only measured on the thong right here. So in this case right here, this is a five foot performance hybrid whip. A very, very popular whip is known as the snake whip, looks like this. The characteristic of the snake whip is it doesn't have a handle, so you'll notice that there's no straight section right through here, so the entire whip is flexible. These whips are measured from the butt end all the way here, so this is a five foot snake whip. This one is in a coral snake pattern. These are particularly popular for people who like to dance with their whips a little bit more, have a coil tight around them, as well as just portability. Another type of portable whip is known as a signal whip. So a signal whip, the difference is, is very similar to a snake whip. However, the popper and fall is actually platted into the whip itself. 
So usually the popper is not removable, it's not used for um, a lot of heavy use, just to kind of make a sound here and there. Something you can easily carry in your pocket. It is actually measured from the butt end all the way to the popper. So you'll notice this one right here is a five foot signal bit. The next book we have are fire whips. Fire whips are becoming really, really popular. Um, the characteristic is they're gonna be usually metal out of here, sometimes carbon fiber. Um, and then they're going to have Kevlar for its overlay. Sometimes they'll have Nomex or Technor um, for its core and its bolster, but the Kevlar overlay allows it to actually resist the heat a lot more. This one right here is a fire whip made by Chad Bennett of Dark Monk. It is a bull whip, so it is measured from the base of the handle all the way out. So this right here is a six foot fire whip. And this one right here, you can see, has a good amount of spring to it, so this actually has a steel cable to assist with power. This one right here is a weighted bull whip that is intended to do things like contact and fishtails. So you'll notice the center of gravity is actually on the middle of the handle, right through here. And this one is a rather short bull whip, measuring it only at five feet. The next type of whip is a bollock whip. So a bollock whip is basically just a really, really big whip. In this case, this whip actually has a five foot long handle, and then I believe an eight foot long thong. Um, they're just used to make really, really, really loud sounds, and that's pretty much all they're useful for, but fun. So not really a whip, but everybody calls it a fiber optic whip, are basically these little LED toys. So they do taper out, they have a lot of strands, they drop down to a few strands, they move around uh, really in a very beautiful fashion. They are called fiber optic whips, they don't really crack sadly, but they're another one that's available to a lot of people. Now, true LED whips are whips that actually have LEDs that go through the handle as well as through the thong itself. These whips right here can crack. They actually make a pretty loud sound. They're also just as accurate as most whips. Um, and they're really bright because they have LEDs in them. So one that's becoming very, very popular by somebody named Aaron Bach are juggling whips. These are whips that you can actually juggle. Uh, they usually come in sets of threes just like this. These ones aren't actually juggling whips. The main difference that you'll see is this one actually has its center of gravity outside the handle. That's right there. The actual juggling whips, you'll notice their center of gravity is going to be actually inside the handle back here. That's what allows these whips to be cracked as well as tossed. There's not exactly a lot of room in here. Um, and juggled. There are a bunch of other whips out there. There are dressage whips, there are lunge whips, there are crops, there are floggers. Those don't really crack and aren't used for sport. This is another example. Uh, this is a casted version of a Sam Jock made by Cold Steel. Sam Jock is a whip that's usually made out of rhinoceros hide and made purely just for hitting people. Um, so this isn't uh, a list of all the whips that are currently out there, but hopefully this gives you a good idea.